simple number 73 is the defective organism. We see that the orange color symbolizes the physical body. The orange color is the energy of gravity and it's also a symbol of the animal kingdom. So here we have the whole physical body and in the physical body there are many different talent kernels. In the explanation, Martinez don't talk about it, but I guess this outer figure is a symbol of the aura that radiates from the physical body. We see here are some very healthy parts. For example, here is a talent kernel for creating a healthy brain. The brain is an organ for the use of intelligence. And here we see some yellow talent kernels. That is talent kernels for creation of organs like lungs, heart, blood system, glands, and so on. So we have many different talents for the creation of a physical body. Also with these blue colors, Martinus symbolize that there are some centers in our brain that are prepared for intuition and cosmic consciousness. But then we see some areas down here with black, brown clouds. It looks a little bit dramatic. And this is a per person who lives in an unhealthy way. If you start to drink beer, wine, alcohol, you can turn into an alcoholic. Alcohol is a poison for the human body. And uh, alcohol especially poisons the brain and the nervous system. And Martinus is looking upon life in a principle of reincarnation. And this means that you can be an alcoholic in several lives. If you start to drink in one life, and at the end of the life you have become an alcoholic, then when you are born in the next life, you will start to drink again, and then you will start to drink as a teenager and you will go on drinking and drinking. It has become a vice. You can't stop it. You go on drinking and drinking and you are sinking deeper and deeper down. And when you die, you can come back in next incarnation and then you start to drink very early, maybe just as a big child. And Martinus explains that if you are an alcoholic three or four lives after each other, you are sinking down, down, down and at the end you have destroyed your brain and your nervous system. And then in the next life you can be born as handicapped, disabled. You can, for example, be born with Down's syndrome. And then it takes maybe also three or four lives to come back to normality. There are people who are very handicapped by Down's syndrome, others are not so handicapped. So it's very important to help handicapped people and people with Down syndrome because they have to train and practice in order to come back to normality. And there is a series of people who are on the way down, on all steps on the way down to a destroyed organism and all steps from a destroyed organism back to normality. Martinus is also explaining in his book The Ideal Food, some people are just simply eating too much and they get fat in one life. but this is, you're putting your organism to work too much, that's an overload, and through overeating, you can destroy a normal metabolism. You can destroy a normal digestion. And then, in the coming lives, you are born with inborn metabolic errors. Often, you can find the cause in the genes of one or both of the parents, but Martino thinks there is a deeper cause and that is because you have been overeating yourself in previous lives. And Martinus is also talking about that you can destroy uh, some centers in your brain with marijuana and uh, drugs and coke and heroin and other strong LSD. There are many, many different kinds of drugs, but they are also very destructive for the talent kernels for creation of a normal body. And you can also, with these drugs, break through to the spiritual world. So you cannot really tell the difference between the physical world and the spiritual world. And 
many people who are born with spiritual mental diseases, the causes in previous lives. Martinus doesn't point it out, but it's my personal opinion that people who are schizophrenic, they have contact to the spiritual world. That is because they have destroyed themselves by psychedelic drugs in the previous lives. Then in this life, they broke through to the spiritual world. When they are born with their children, they, they are still okay, but there are wounds that can be risen up and then they can get a hold through to the spiritual world uh, again. Uh, it's interesting to see uh, some details. Martinus doesn't write about it, but it looks uh, as if there are many blue talent kernels that are destroyed. And the blue talent kernels, they are the talent kernels for a higher consciousness. So there are parts of the brain that has been prepared for cosmic consciousness. And maybe somebody think that LSD and psychedelic drugs are a shortcut to the spiritual world and cosmic consciousness, but they are not. They are sort of destroying these very delicate cells that should be used when we should open for the cosmic consciousness. So the general idea is that if you are abusing your organs, if you are destroying your organs, that will also have a consequence on the talent kernels for the coming creation of coming organisms and organs.